엄마? 아, 엄마 아니야. 아빠야, 아빠. 헬로, 이건 KR 브릭봇. 그리고 카르봇이 그렇게 큰 문제가 있는 사람이 없어요. 그리고 그 문제가 있는 사람이 없어요. 그리고 그 문제가 있는 Only because I'm in Korea, I've collected a whole bunch of these, but for anyone else, it's really just pick and choose and preference because they're just so big. Not just this, but the boxes are so big. Why do they have to be so big? Why do they have to stand out from this? Well, I guess their big size does make them unique, but it's just not compatible with this. So why haven't they made a smaller series as well? Well, I mean, they did make little guys. What I'm saying is, what if they also made Carbots in a more accessible size? And uh, here is that what if. Yes, this is a smaller Gold Rex. And uh, this is not in Korea. I actually got this from China and Sir Toys. So he had that listing on there and I snatched it up. So, is this a knockoff? No, I don't think it's a knockoff. If taking a look at the instructions here, this is the official Hello Carbot logo and Choi Rock right here, but it looks like there are some extra Chinese companies, like this is Makwu and Entire, with a identification number of HCL005. So here's the Korean logo with some extra English and Chinese. Chinese instructions, but this does look like a real deal thing that's been produced exclusively for Chinese markets. And as I'm aware, this little thing is the only official release of Gold Rex over there so far. I mean, they, they released a big one in Taiwan, but for China and Hong Kong, this is what they have so far. So is there anything different other than the size? Well. Yeah, overall, the general shape is the same, but I think this is a slightly darker orange plastic. The, the It still has those perforated windows, but not completely hold. They're kind of filled in. And the front, yeah, the major difference is this is a transparent green official Carbot symbol. And uh, there's not much skimping on on details except the rear lights. Yeah, no green. Yeah, well overall, yeah, this is a very nice downscaled Gold Rex. So comparing with Masterpiece Bumblebee here, this looks like it will fit really well into the Masterpiece scale. Just a slightly bigger chunky car. And it transforms in mostly the same way as the big Gold Rex, just slightly simplified. These wings are much looser though, so they have a little uh, soft ratchets to lock them in place in the upward position. And yeah, a lot of ratchets have been issued for just simple swivels or soft ratchets. So, Little Rex and Big Rex. The molding detail looks like it's pretty much there, um, including that spine, that lovely spine, but uh, there are a couple of shortcuts. For one, the tail. It's now just a hollow single slab of a thing. No folding bits, no double hinges, just really hollow gappage. Yeah, he has a much more articulated tail here, but yeah, this is just a slab. Um, as for the arms, how did they mess up the colors here? I mean, they, they just inverted it. Yeah, the black arms are now orange and the white is now black. Yeah, in fact, this thing doesn't have any white plastic. Because as you see, the jaw is orange. Yeah, it's like it was a cost cutting just to remove one color. But couldn't they have kept the colors right here? Just, you know, orange forearms and black arms that are even hollower than Goldrex's here. Really hollow. And of course, changing from the ratchets to just simple mushroom pegs. 
At least it's painted, but now it's looking a little smooth here. And yeah, there's only a smattering of the yellowish paint just on the crotch and the side of the legs, but nothing on the side here. It, that's just been replicated with the trans green. As I said, the head's still looking pretty good. Just the orange lower jaw. Yeah, but the biggest disappointment is the legs. They're just on a single hinge now. They don't have like a one, two, double hinge. Yeah, this is, it just really helps getting out of the spreading stance, but uh, nothing. He just kind of stuck out like a little like this. Also, that's horribly hollow. Horribly hollow legs. A far cry from what the, this, was, this was. Also without those joints. And uh, they still have those pre-molded ankle tilts, those A stance tilts. But since that can't spread, that's going to be limiting. Yeah, this is the only way you can keep those feet level now. Yeah, if you do it any other way, it just um, kind of lifts. But not that it makes it more topply or anything. We just... That's the best you're going to do with these one-way legs. And his hands aren't five millimeters anymore. So those hands are really only good for uh, holding his claws in his hands, which really doesn't work. And the one on his back is too small for that too. So uh, it's not just it's, it's almost there for five millimeters, but it's just slightly too small, so you can only plug in the tip of a weapon. So what's the point of the holes now? As I said before, the wings are loose, very loose. The head connection is slightly different. I mean, there's just the square tabs for here, go big gold rex, but the little gold rex has just a clip and bar system. Clips uh, that kind of looks a little more unsightly than uh, this here. But at least it still has its extra neck joint. So, size comparisons with the A-lister masterpieces. He's a dragon, so he's a little taller, but I think he is meant to fit in this scale. Yeah, so just seeing this slightly smaller gold rugs out of the blue just really makes me wish that they could have just stuck with this scale from the start. Just really work those high-quality ratchets and joint counts in this size. Unless even this side is not enough to accommodate all those extra premium joints. And uh, so far, um, these three are the only ones in the slightly smaller Carbot series. I'm not sure what to call it. Hello Carbot Light. Also kind of odd that their first wave is just both Aces and Gold Rex. <coughs> Nothing in between. In fact, I don't think Hawk has been officially released in China. Most of the other Season 1 and Season 2 Carvots have official releases, but not Hawk for some reason. Or Pentastorm. So I both look forward to and dread to see what uh, Chinese Maku and Toy Rock will make in the future. Maybe they'll, if this is proved popular enough, they'll make more of those Carvots in this size. So you can check out the Sir Toys link in the description. <laughs> It's sold out right now, so you'll probably have to get on the want list. Or you could try foreign meandering around the Chinese shopping sites with international shipping. JD and Taobao. But I think JD is more reliable. Uh, direct link will also be in the description. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe and comment and all that good stuff. So until next time, this is KR Brickbot signing off.